Hey, good people. What's going on? Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Today I'm reviewing. Um, like I'm doing three episodes. This is the second episode. As you can as you can see in front of me, I have a couple of samples. One travel atomizer and one sample. So this is not a full bottle review. I have a couple of fragrances from the house called Perfume Dot AE. I think that's the house. Yes, Perfume Dot AE. And I'm keeping one of my bottles which I own uh, just to keep as a reference. But this is not the bottle I'm reviewing. So I have their creation of uh, red tobacco. And I also have their creation of uh, Ombre Nomad. So I reviewed, I think, uh, the original for, uh, let's say, let's keep it here. The original one of Red Tobacco, I do have it still, the vintage bottle. And I did review Ombre Nomad a long time ago. I did a clone review as well. So Ombre Nomad was quite nice. Okay. So I am, you know, thinking like, you know, if, if you're interested in this packaging, I, I'm in this house or this uh, clones. I'll let you know the price tag and everything and uh, if they're worth it so uh, both of these were sent to me as gifts even the full bottle as well uh, they sent me uh, for my reviewing purpose so i did mention that in my review this is the one for men line okay so uh, let's talk about where do we start ombre no one clone okay so they sent me this one during eid okay so it says found find your scent and perfume.ae and i think they are doing with <coughs> luxodor and uh, Fragrantica Bangladesh joint venture in Dubai. So you can have a worldwide shipping as well, I guess. So, so far, my experience, I have reviewed three. They are good. Quality is good. Longevity is good. Price point, I asked people, they told me it's around $40, $38. So not really cheap. <coughs> Sorry. And the thing is, uh, at this price point, should you be looking at them as a cloned alternative? Because, you know, clones can be had for Latafas. Like 15 20 dollars so you know it depends right so uh, i'll let you know my thoughts okay so even though these are free as gifts i, I give you my uh, own thoughts so uh, let's break it down i think i have my paper somewhere i don't want to spray strong perfume on me i have the red tobacco on me man that is strong so <laughs> uh, because you know when you're having a little bit of a throat infection it's not good to smell too much but i'm doing the review because i want to finish them really nice atomizer and these are one of those uh, you know lucky sun they used to have this type of you know you just twist it opens and you can take it out so the name is inside ombre nomad okay and you can put it back it sprays it spray some good quality sprays okay so uh, it says uh here it says luxodor i think yes so let's keep it like that it's a metal body and then the atomizer is glass so ombre nomad basic <coughs> man oh sorry give me a sec I'm really sorry. Maybe I shouldn't be doing reviews, but after this, maybe I'll take a few days break. So, Ombre Nomad, basically, I understand. Uh, it's Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton fragrances are supremely expensive. So I would say if you're going to get a clone, uh, maybe look at clones of very high-end niche perfumes, which are difficult to score, four or $500, as opposed to 38 So that makes more sense. But Red Tobacco will talk about it. Okay, Both are niche house clones. So this one, Ombre Nomad, basically, is a wood-based perfume. I understand it's a very classy, up class westernized sort of wood, not really skanky or animalic wood, but it was very wearable, very high class, like a YSL tuxedo reminds me of, sort of like a classy fragrance. It was very dark, very strong, uh, also similar to um, Dior's Oud Ispahan, little bit. So I'm getting that vibe from uh, this fragrance, okay? It has a fruity opening, a little bit of fruity, uh, uh, bright, sweet opening i think a little bit of a rose ombre nomad has wood and rose combo I, I as far as i remember this one has that and it's very sweet so that is one thing that will make you like this fragrance okay price point as i told you maybe 38 maybe a bit more i don't know some of the fragrances may be differently priced if i am wrong i'm sorry but i'll give you a link to their website you can check this thing is a beastly perfume okay if you put this on you're gonna get performance from this so performance is 10 okay performance has no uh, you know uh, like how to say weakness and i'm sorry big thanks to fragrantica for sending me these samples and the bottle so i would say this is a very good clone of uh, ombre nomad i really like it the quality is good but it reminds me also of uh, the Udi Spahan. so if you like those two fragrances you can try it it's definitely much more affordable but always remember there are other fragrance houses you can also try mason alhambra latafa maybe they will have a clone which would be more affordable but the quality of the juice is very good luxodor you guys know i have reviewed quite a few luxury perfumes i do like them and their fragrance are top-notch quality 
um, they are like using high quality oil. The bottle presentation is going to be like this, okay, different coloration or something. But more or less, you get a label. The bottle, it's uh, okay, not bad. It has the wooden cap. I would say it looks good. It looks like Lelabo a little bit. The boxes are kind of like a tester looking box. But, you know, uh, maybe in future, they will change it like a bit more premium. But they have a lot of perfumes, okay. So, uh, bottle presentation, it's up, up for debate. If you feel like you want a little bit more premium, let them know. But for the juice itself, I think it's worth it. It's beautiful rose wood combination and it's a little bit animalic. Okay, so it's gonna be good for cold weather, good performance as all well, as well. Unisex, dark fragrance. Okay, so good, good uh, solid fragrance just for the juice. I will give this like a nine out of ten. Really like it, but it's uh, not wearable for summer. I think in high heat, if you put this on, you're gonna suffer. So <laughs> because it's too strong. The so next one is gonna be this sample, which they sent with one purchase I did. So this is uh, perfume.ae, they wrote the name and red tobacco. I tried this couple of days just to see what we get because I'm very familiar with men's red tobacco, okay? This thing and then Karina Herrera's one tobacco, I forgot the name, a smoky tobacco or something like a, I don't know, they have the similar sort of fragrance. So this is kind of like a smoky, I have reviewed in past, sort of like similar to that was a gift sent to me by Alexandria, Alexandria Fragrances of 1984 long time back brother still uh what well, brother was very kind to me i still have some juice left this is a good clone of red tobacco and i think uh, maybe a few other fragrances they also have clone like pandora since they have clone but what do you get from red tobacco you get like a smoky kind of red fruits uh, very strong uh tobacco based perfume which you cannot overspray this fragrance if you overspray that's it uh, sudamati we say in malaysia <laughs> <laughs> so that Martin means you're already dead. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just a joke. So uh, Red Tobacco, it has now gone up in price. It used to be like $90. Now it's gone over $120 because price have seen hike and the new bottles are going to be magnetic. You get 120 ml juice. Mansara gives you good quality. If you can afford it, I would say stick to Red Tobacco. But for this one, I just put this on about 40 minutes ago. This thing is projecting like a monster. Okay. So Parfum.ae their collection their creation it's very very spot on it's not very different from red tobacco uh it's just a little bit more maybe uh fruity a bit more sweet less smoky which i like because the smoke in this is a bit uh animalic okay and i can wear this a lot but this one is a lot more sweeter makes it more versatile easy to approach i think there's a plum like note popping somewhere but more like red dried fruits okay so you will get that ambery sort of a sweetness you get that uh, smoky tobacco and i think a lot of fruits and uh you know that maybe i don't know what's what else is in there but it's a very sweet perfume so both these fragrance i feel are going to be good for winter time and very good cold weather performer sort of fragrance you can wear these with a leather jacket perfect perfect and this thing is just very hard to distinguish i cannot see any difference between these two quality wise i don't know how they did it at first i thought they put actually red tobacco in there and sent me but if this is the quality i would say uh, for 38 dollars it makes a lot more sense over red tobacco because performance is great i think almost reaches the same level as red tobacco at least seven to eight hours okay so great juice and i want to try the lanuidolom i'm wearing lanuidolom late night <clears throat> and this is my scent of the night this is 2014 version i think and i want to see if they have a stronger version of lanuidolom but I want to test with the samples first because you know i'm buying too many 40 dollars cologne if they have at least a couple of hundreds of fragrances man in their belt and they just keep making so i have to sample a lot more so i will give red tobacco 8.5 okay very good solid fragrance uh, prices you know i'll tell you my uh, honest frank opinion and i think bidudba is the owner of this house fragrant ticker he has been very kind to me uh, i've been buying fragrances from him he has been supporting me i support him uh, i'll give you honest take as a reviewer uh, you know because that's what i do i feel personally uh, if these fragrances was were something like 30 dollars okay i'm telling you i i'm just i don't know the costing of course they're costing and then the oil they have to make profit and then you know they have a joint venture so it's i don't know the breakdown how it works but if these were within 30 dollars okay uh, I think these fragrances would be selling like hot cakes, okay? Like people would not have a second thought, like because it's similar to Arma, but a bit more. So what you get versus what you pay, I think you're still getting a good deal. 
maybe if they have an offer like buy, I don't know, maybe some discounts or something, that would be great. And to sell, like I think they're selling, but I would love to see $30 price tag on these. That would be lovely. Uh, or maybe the same price tag, <clears throat> bottles go a little bit more premium of the boxes. This is my uh, frank opinion. I am not going to be biased towards uh, any brother of mine who's selling me uh, perfumes or sending me fragrances for free. Okay. I always give you honest take, but the quality of the juices good. Apart from the price tag and all that, the presentation, these things you have up for debate, but juice quality, no doubt are good. Okay. These two, I highly recommend. So, Red Tobacco is good and also Ombre Nomad, both are uh, success. Thank you so much for watching. I have one more video, then we'll upload it. Thank you so much. Good night from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Bye bye.